Hello, I'm David Taston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news. There's been considerable fallout from the Fed's timid rate decision. But first, a Federal Reserve report out on Saturday showed that as of the June quarter of 2015, American household wealth continued to grow strongly. It is now at record levels, mainly boosted by fast-rising pension funds, equity values and mutual funds. Also important is that households are not taking on more liabilities, which are only at the same level they were at the start of the GFC. A recent kicker, however, has been the growth of housing values. And for the first time since 2008, year-on-year growth of mortgage debt turned positive, ending the longest streak of declining mortgage borrowing in 65 years. The benefits are not even, however. A Census Department report out late last week on annual data for median incomes for 2014 showed little change from 2013. Moody's has cut France's credit rating by one notch to AA2 and altered its outlook from negative to stable. Low growth and institutional and political challenges to reforms make it unlikely that we will see a material reduction in the government's high debt burden over the next decade, Moody's said. And in news just in, the Greeks have re-elected Prime Minister Tsipras and a Syriza party, embedding the tough austerity reforms recently negotiated. Related to Europe, American regulators have uncovered a deep-seated and arrogant fraud at Volkswagen. The car firm installed a defeat device, liar software if you will, to deliberately cheat emissions rules in the US. The fallout will be very bad for the car company, as it should be. Fines of up to $18 billion are possible. In New York, US Treasury 10-year yield benchmark came back to earth, down 14 basis points, as bond markets think they got a strong buy signal from Janet Yellen's rate height blink. It is now down to just 2.13%. Equities everywhere tumbled, and we may see similar moves here when markets open. Local swap rates are quite likely to fall sharply too. The US benchmark oil price fell by $2, now at $45 a barrel, and Brent benchmark is now at $47 a barrel. The gold price, however, has risen quite strongly to $1,138 an ounce. New Zealand on a starts the week also a bit higher. It rose at the close on trading on Friday to 64 US cents, to 89 US cents, and 56.6 euro cents. The TWI starts at 68.1. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.